For this task, we're going to learn how to cut at pin and cut out pattern pieces. So I have here, I've made a little pattern piece. I've got my square of fabric, I have my sewing shears, and I have some straight pins. So this pattern piece, in honor of Valentine's Day this week, we are going to make a heart. Now if any of you have cut out paper hearts, you know that the easiest way to do this is to cut on fold. Uh, the same thing holds true often when you're making a garment. If you need something to be symmetrical, with no seam up the center, then you would cut it on a fold. So that's what this does. So this symbol here, this long um, arrow, uh, that's what that means. So I'm going to begin by folding my fabric in half and I'm going to put it so that the right side is on the inside. This doesn't matter so much because we're just doing a sample piece, um, but a lot of times we have limited space to cut out in our classroom and your fabric ends up being cut on the floor. Uh, so we need to um, make sure that you keep the, the good side of it clean. And then we're going to line up our pattern piece on that fold. Now the fold, actually being on the fold is quite important um, because it can affect fit. So if you think of me putting this over here and saying, oh, it's good enough, it's close enough, this is actually about a quarter of an inch. Uh, maybe not, maybe between an eighth and a quarter of an inch, so three sixteenths. Um, so that doesn't seem like a big deal, but when we open it up on both sides, it actually represents a much larger um, measurement. So if that's half or a quarter of an inch, just for ease of measurement here, uh, when I open it up, it'll be a half inch. A half inch is uh, 12 millimeters. So if this was across your, the, your, the chest of your garment or the bodice of your garment, that's the difference between uh, it fitting close to the body and people being able to see down your shirt. So you want to make sure that when you're cutting on the fold that you're actually lining this up right on the edge. And it's a good idea to put some pins in. So we're going to be using uh, standard straight pins and you're going to pin parallel to the cutting line. So what you do is you put the pin in and slide it across and pop it out. Whoops, didn't turn out very well. There we go. Uh, and you need it to be parallel to the cutting line and inside uh, on the paper pattern piece so that way because uh, your scissors won't cut through metal if I don't like you cutting paper with them um, then you definitely won't like it I definitely won't like it if you cut metal so we're going to pin down both ends of our fold okay, and again um, we're just going to oh how did I manage to knock that out talent All right, so now that that's pinned down, we've got to pin down the outside of it. So we're just going to continue putting pins in. Until the whole piece is secured. Now you don't want to use too many pins because then it bubbles up and makes a giant mess. But we need to make sure that it is actually secured in place so when we go to cut, it stays down. See, that's not a good spot for that because the pin head is hanging out. There we go. So that's right across. Now we're going to use our fabric shears. Now the anatomy of the fabric shears, um, we want to be using mostly this part of the blade here to do our cutting. And we don't actually want to cut, we don't actually want to close our scissors the whole way. We want to leave them open a little bit and that allows for a nice smooth cut. The other thing we want to be careful of is we need to make sure that we are holding our scissors at a 90 degree angle to what we're cutting, especially when we're cutting two layers of fabric. If I cut like this on an angle, um, the top layer is going to be bigger than the bottom layer, and if I cut this way, the opposite is true. Uh, so we need to make sure we're as precise as we can be. It doesn't need to be completely perfect because the seams um, are going to hide a lot of that in your serging, but it is a good idea. It makes your life easier if you do a good job cutting. So you're actually going to leave the fabric on the table to the best of your ability. This is hard because it's a small sample. And we're going to cut our fabric. So as I do the curves, which this sample is mostly, um, I'm actually going to be using closer to the tip of my scissors. And it doesn't have to be one continuous cut at all. It can be multiple cuts. And you do want to get 
close to the paper. This isn't fantastic, definitely not my best work, of course, when I'm doing a demo. So I'm just going to neaten that up a bit. Now, if I needed to transfer markings, normally this is where I would do it, but because I don't, I'm just going to unpin. And because I'm following good safety protocols, I'm putting my pins back in my pin cushion, take off my pattern piece. and my pattern is ready to sew. So add this into your sewing journal, make notes about the technique, and move on to the next station.